You know, I've, I've often been asked this question, do we have guardian angels in Islam? Because that's obviously uh, you know, a very dominant topic, a dominant theme when you're talking about the angels, guardian angels. And obviously, you know, it depends on what your definition of, your, of, of a guardian angel is. Is it you know, your dead brother, or your, your dead parents, or so on and so forth that become guardian angels? No, absolutely not. We know that the Prophet وسلم, obviously was guarded by Jibreel So yes, Jibreel serves as a guardian angel to the Prophet وسلم, To anyone who wished him harm, he would stand and he would guard the Prophet وسلم. Uh, also, the Prophet وسلم, t- talks about the end of times and he says that when Dajjal comes to Medina, when the Antichrist tries to enter Medina, he would find that the city is protected by angels. And we already mentioned uh, the Battle of Badr, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent angels, uh, 3,000 angels, to support the believers and to fight alongside them, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the question becomes, what about us? Do I have a guardian angel? Do I have guardian angels? Uh, does Allah or the Prophet mention that? And actually the answer is yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُرْسِلُ عَلَيْكُمْ حَفَظَةً Allah sends protectors to you. And Allah even gets more specific. He says, لَهُ مُعَقِّبَاتٌ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ that, that He has protectors uh, from in front of Him, from behind Him, all around Him, protecting Him by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah azza wa is the one who sends them to do so. Now, the Prophet Sallallahu he, he gets even more specific. He says that there are angels on all four sides of us that are protecting us from the shayateen. So when the devils come towards us, when, 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 they, when, they infl- when they try to inflict harm on us, those angels stand in the path of them and protect us at all times. As long as we are on good terms with Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, obviously, as long as we're not in a state of, of corruption or in a state of fusuq or asiyan, disobedience, because obviously the angels are not going to be with you when you're in a state of disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? You've exposed yourself uh, to those harms. You know, don't expect the angels to go clubbing with you. You know, you're at a club, they're not going to be around you. You're listening to something you shouldn't be listening, watching something you shouldn't be watching, talking to someone you shouldn't be talking to. I guarantee you those angels are not going to be around you, protecting you at that, at that point. However, uh, whenever you are in a state of obedience, they are protecting you against the shayateen, against those who wish you harm. And subhanAllah, Mujahid, rahimahullah, he got even more specific, uh, his tafsir of that ayah. He says, يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنَ الْجِنِّ وَالْأَذَى وَالشِّتَى He said they would protect you from al-jinn, you know, so those that wish to harm you from the jinn. And any form of harm, even al-shitta, you know, the cold. Uh, SubhanAllah, you have an angelic jacket in that sense, the cold from not affecting you too much. There's actually angelic protection for that as well. And he says, uh, and the ants or any bugs getting in your ears at night and things of that sort, right? At times when you're not even expecting it, you know, you might not even be anticipating harm. And you might not even find out that you were ever exposed to harm until the Day of Judgment. However, Allah has these angels that are in constant protection of you. And Ibn Abbas عنه, said, they only step aside in obedience to Allah when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees something to harm you. That's when they step aside, they don't ask questions because they know that which is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is, is good at the end of the day, it's been decreed for, for a wise purpose and they, they cannot protect you against that decree from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video. If you did, then please do share it. And if you'd like to follow the rest of the series, then please do click on the top box. And if you'd like to see all of the other episodes and the other videos we have to offer, then please click on the box under that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content.